it's about somebody else. Hello. Amen. That's why you are given the gift to witnesses. To go out and speak. How many of us have spoken to somebody this week? Yes. Thank you. You sent me text messages. You spoke to me. But that, isn't it? You spoke it. There are many ways we can speak to people. We speak verbally. We speak by action. We speak by demonstration. We speak even by looking. Hello. Praise the Lord. Even bodily speech. People make bodily speech. How many of you know that? So the Bible is saying that we have the gift of an evangelist. It's given to us. And we must use it. I want to tell you something. If you are in a home and a donation or a gift is given to the home and they just share it among uh, five people, maybe you are number six, nothing is given to you, what will you do? Thank you! You complain! You ask for your own, you protest, and say, give it to every one of us. Where's my own? Eh? But in the church, people don't aspire. They don't aspire. They don't, they don't reach out to their gift. They just let few people operate the whole gift. That is not complete, and that is not correct. If you do that, you are not showing yourself as a part of the church, as a body. The Bible says the church is a body, and Christ is the head. So if you are part of the body, you must participate in the functioning of the gift that is given to the body. So we must all tear our spirit up to be an apostle in the house of God, to be a prophet in the house of God, to be an evangelist in the house of God. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you keep your head in all situations. Yes. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Good. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. Do the work of an evangelist. That's right. That was Paul writing to Timothy, a young boy, as I spoke to Jeremiah this morning. Jeremiah, can you understand what is going on now? As I gave you responsibility this morning, Paul was writing to Timothy. He said, Endure hardship. Be a hard worker. Don't just be an idle person. Mm -hmm. Be vigilant, be consistent, be committed, be dedicated to what you are called to do. And do the work of an evangelist. Make your calling sure. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The way we can have a proof of our ministry is by performing and perfecting our ministry. That is what God is looking for. Yeah. And that's what the Holy Ghost wants us to be a present on. That we don't just come down and complain. We are more than three here this morning. Yes. Jesus will wait two or three gathered together in his name and then we are missed. Uh -huh. But we are more than five. We are more than six. We are more than seven. So we found a, a quorum. We found a number to pray as a body and as a church. Yes. If one will stand up and prophesy, one will stand up and speak as a body, one will speak, stand up and Give uh, 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 as a, an apostle, then the body will do what? Be edified. The body be edified.